What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Robert Lewandowski. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left, starting from the very top. It's gonna come all the way down toward the bottom of that circle and then back up towards the top. Now we wanna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we're gonna start by lining up the top of the circle on the right. And we'll bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Now I'm gonna pull the eyelids down across that circle, starting on the left side, bend this up and then in. Let's line this up on the right, going across and then down towards the right side. Let's add a highlight on the left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, draw a half circle, coming down and up. Doing the same thing on the right. And then in the center of the eye, we're gonna draw a small circle right in the middle, going in behind the highlight for the pupil. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. Now we're gonna move up and draw on the eyebrows. Starting on the outside, just curve up above the eye and then bend that down on the inside. Let's go back to the left side. You wanna go up a little bit higher in the middle and back down toward that inside point. And we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Now you want to move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. Starting over on the left, come down in the middle, and then up. Now we're going to move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw the mouth. Starting on the left, come down, and then up. And I'll add a small bracket on the corners of the mouth. Go back to the center, step down and add a short curve for the lower lip. Now I also want to add a fold along the inside of the eye, starting on the left, bend this down, and then out on both sides. Now from here we move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. On the outside of the left eye, let's move out, come down, so I'm going to round out the chin just underneath the lip, cross, and then back up on the right. Now I'm going to work our way up across the hairline. Starting back on the left, we're going to bend this up and in around the eyebrow. And then go straight up toward the top edge of the hairline. Now from here we're going to work our way across towards the left. Let's start on the right side, we're going to go up and bend that down towards the center of the forehead. I want to brush the hair going up, across the side of the head, and then down. Let's add a point, going up, and bend that in, step back out, go up, and in. Now I want to continue to layer the hair over towards the right, so we're going to move over, add a point, going out, go up towards the top of the head, and then bend that down. Let's go back up, go up, and then down. Now we're going to move back up one more time, go all the way around, and bend that in toward the top corner of the head. Now before we close off the side, let's add in the ears. We're gonna start on the left side, bend the ear going up, round this out, and then pull that back in, and we'll line that up on the right. Let's add a fold across the top of the ears, going up and out. And then on the inside, we'll add a hook going out and then in. Now we're gonna close off the side of the head. From this point, let's step in, bend this around, and then in towards the ear. Let's go up to the top right, go out, come down, and then back in. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the body. We're gonna start with the collar. We're gonna start over on the left side, come down and then in towards the middle, go out and then back up. Now I wanna trace the collar along the outside, coming in towards the middle, and back up towards the right. 
Let's move out to the side and draw the body. We start over on the left, bring this out, and then bring that down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right, and down towards the same height. Now let's connect the hips with a curve, bring down the middle, and then up. Let's add some details to the body. We're gonna start with that Nike symbol on the left side. Come down and angle that up toward the collar. Go back to the left, come around the bottom, and then back up. Now we move over towards the right side and add that number nine. Starting from the outside, go around and then out. Angle this down towards the bottom. Let's flatten this off and then go back up towards the top. And I just want to trace up the inside of the knife. Let's go to the center of the body and add that crest, starting with a straight line. Now from the sides, we're going to come down and then bend that in towards the middle. Now we're going to go to the center, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, start from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up. And then from the outside we'll draw the top of the foot. We want to go up towards the top and then bend that down aiming towards the heel. And bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now going back up to the hips, let's draw the outside of the leg. Start with the left side, going out, and then down on top of the foot. Now let's move up to the top and draw the bottom edge of the shorts, coming down and then in, and line that up on the right side. I'm also going to add a stripe along the side of the shorts, just following the same curve for the leg. I want to leave a gap underneath the shorts and draw the top edge of the sock with that same curve. Let's separate the sole of the shoes, so I'll take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Let's add that same crest over on the left side. Start with a straight angle line. Pull this down and in towards the bottom. We're also going to add the number 9 over on the right side. Starting with the side coming down. Round to the top. Pull up the bottom. And then trace out the inside. And now we're going to go back up to the top and draw in the arms. We want to start halfway between the chin and the hip. So starting right here, then the arm going out and down towards the wrist. And line that up on the right side. From the wrist, let's draw a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming in and back out. And we'll add that bracket. Now you want to add three fingers on either side. So we start from the bottom curve of the thumb. We're going to come down and just bend that up around that bracket. Now along the side, we go out and then up with the second finger. And then the third finger, we go out, blend into the arm, going up and then in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now from the top of the arm on the inside, we're gonna step down, add a curve going up and out through the sleeve. And line that up on the right. Now on the left side, we're gonna add a small trim coming in. On the right side, we're gonna add that thick band, so we'll step up, draw that same curve. And then we'll add a couple badges on the side of the arm. Stepping up, come in, up, and then back out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. This is a cartoon illustration of Robert Lewandowski. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you smash that like button because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you're a World Cup fan, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.